Hey everybody, it's Edie, your video and YouTube strategist. In today's video, I'm going to share with you an updated version of how to create a GIF or a GIF using PowerPoint in 2020. Stay tuned. So welcome everyone, this is Edie, your video and YouTube strategist. And in today's video, we're going to walk you through how to create a GIF or a GIF using PowerPoint 2020. So let's get started. So you wanna open up and create a blank presentation. So the first thing that you wanna do once you've done this is you wanna come over here to design and then you want to go over here to slide and size. So we're going to resize this because we want this for social media. So you can look underneath here. You'll see that um, what the dimensions are for their pre-existing slide formats. But we're going to go down to custom. And then we're going to basically make this a one by one. So because they're doing this in inches, we're just um, going to reduce this and we're going to reduce it to 8.2. It doesn't matter really what size it is. I'm just choosing uh, 8.2 because it's easiest. And then you click OK. And then I'm going to choose Maximize. And then there's the format. So that's your one by one um image for your uh presentation so now the next thing that you want to do is you want to come up here to insert so what you want to decide is what do you want to appear in this uh gif or gif do you want it to be text do you want it to be images so i'm going to do one with images so i'm going to go to insert so then i'm going to go here to images and I'm going to select pictures. So once I click on that, the down arrow is going to give me a number of options. I'm going to select it from my computer. So I'm going to choose this device and it's going to open up my computer and it's going to go in this instance, it's gone directly where I needed it to go. But I'm going to create my GIF using some cartoon characters, um, animated characters that I have. So I'm going to click this one. I'm just going to take a couple of uh, random ones where the character is moving their hand. Actually, we could do let's do these let's do those so i'm going to click insert and they're all going to come in at one time so what i'm going to do now and you can do this any number of ways i'm going to duplicate but you could create all of the slides that you want and then manually bring in each image it's totally up to you Okay, so once you've brought them all in, the next thing that you can do, it's not mandatory, is you notice behind here there is um, a template to insert some, some text. That's not going to appear when you are finished, but if you do want to get rid of it, what you could do is just um, right click it and then you're going to go to layout and you're going to choose blank. And you So the other thing that I've done is I've rearranged the order of um, some of these. And I think I actually want to end with this one. OK, so the next thing that you want to do is you want to position the character so that they're in the same spot for all slides so that you really are only seeing very limited movements, particularly with the arms. So one of the easiest way to do this is just to make the character fill out the entire screen. Okay, so we are done setting up all of our images on each. Now, if you're interested in actually in this type of an example, wanting to add some text, 
What you could do that's a little bit more creative is you could say, for example, add in sort of a speech bubble. So if you wanted to do that, you can stay on the home tab and you can come right here to where you see all of these uh, various shapes under uh, where it says drawing. And then you can come down to where you see call outs and you can choose any one of these. So let's say we wanted to do a thought bubble, if you will. You can then um, just create your. And then we can insert some text. So we can say, for example, um, and so then you can add a speech bubble to all of these. What you need to do now is come to File and you're going to export. So we're going to export as a GIF or GIF. And so you're going to click on this and then here you can choose what size you want the file to be. If you want it to be a small file, medium, large, or extra large, and this is all gonna be based on where you plan on um, marketing this video. So we're gonna leave this as a large. And then the next thing that you can do before you click on the GIF, uh, create GIF, button is you want to tell it how many seconds do you want them to stay on each slide. To me, a second is too long in this instance. So what I would do is I would do about 45 maybe. Um, oops, that's wrong. So I would do 45 and then I'll create it. So once it's done, it's then going to tell you where you can find all version. So once it is done, which does not take any time whatsoever, normally you can see some movement down here, but it literally does not take any time whatsoever. So I'm going to open up. So there it is. So let's look at it. And that's it. All right, take care.